from the front to the back, left to the right. Hold tight, the miss fit about the rock, the mind. It's just the soul obligation. <clears throat> shoes <laughs> hey what's going on guys uh welcome to my first ever uh sneaker review um slash diy explanation of what i did to both of the items uh, i'm going to be talking about today let me introduce myself my name is jr and this page is called soul obligation i myself have been into sneakers since i was probably 12 or 13 years old my first pair of actual sneakers or basketball shoes if you want to say um were given to me um in another story we'll get into later on in the time uh, but it was the playoff air jordan 13s the uh the originals that came out so that is probably top five one of my favorite shoes um so that started it off for me uh when i was 16 right when i turned 16 i got a job at Foot Locker and I've been in and out of that company for a very long time. So Obligation, um, S-O-L-E, Obligation. Um, I've had that name on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook for probably about four years now. Um, it caters to shoes, obviously, with the, with the S-O-L-E, because I feel I'm obligated to talk about, show, tell um, the stories about, pardon me, the sneakers that I get. Now, again, this is my first time doing this, so uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, hiccups and obstacles that I'm going to run through, and I do like to rant every now and then, too. But shoes are more than just shoes, uh, more than foot covers. Shoutouts to the homies uh, at CGS. Um, shoes are historic stories. Shoes are personal stories. They're pieces of art, they're works of art, and they're works in progress. They make us feel something uh, more than just uh, the pain from uh, a really high price tag. And while we know that we'll never have them all, uh, we may want them all, but some of them we just have to have um and you know with that being said i'm not going to really jump into uh, much of an intro for the next shoe or the first shoe um or collaboration or whatever you want to call it um, that i'm going to talk about here but the air jordan 4 um levi's collaboration in the blue denim colorway this was the first of three releases from this legendary collaboration um the first one uh, dates back years and years ago um, for the kids that don't know or the heads that don't know this one dropped on january the 17th at 306 young um, and at livestock 306 young just had the shoes levi's yorkdale just had the jacket i am located in toronto by the way um as i just said yorkdale mall livestock uh had the shoes and the jacket but you had to raffle and i believe capsule did as well um but first come first serve was at livestock or part of me was at 306 and at uh levi's yorkdale um for the jacket that's another story we'll get into in a minute these shoes released also with a reversible trucker jacket which i have which i'll get into um so there are the shoes there um the trucker jacket matched the shoes in terms of the denim colorways um obviously and then the accenting colors of red um and or white and or black um so there was a blue colorway this one here um and then a black and blue colorway or a black and white colorway pardon me black and white colorways um released on june 30th the shoes retailed for 300 dollars, and the jacket was 198 canadian um not bad for the jacket considering it was a co collaboration branded Levi's jacket. I'm pretty sure their trucker jackets were like a hundred bucks or 120, 140, something like that. The shoe itself is constructed of an entire um, Levi's denim outer layer from top to bottom. Um, as you can see, uh, with the exception of part of the midsole on the right shoe. Um, I'll show you the right shoe here. You have your classic denim Levi's tag here. That you can see and if it'll focus there give it a second boom classic levi's tag that you see some of the versions that did come out um had no text um on the levi's tag zero text on the levi's tag the research that i've done and all the reviews and everything that i've seen um that never held true to being more expensive or more limited by any means i think i saw something on another channel regarding it being like the first hundred pairs of levi's 
didn't have text and the rest of it did or vice versa i can't remember there wasn't any specific um, reason that i've heard about that if you know or have any reasoning to that go ahead and let me know in the comments down below because that would be great to know so you have also 10 um leather patches that sit atop the tongue here um, just like you would see on regular levi's denim um, as well as tan leather patches and red Levi's tags on the outside of the uh, outside of the tongue, just like a Jordan, regular Jordan 4 as well. Um, so you can see that there too. Um, as you can tell um, with my specific pair, I went ahead and I did a DIY um, service on them. I went ahead and bleached them and distressed them a bit with a uh, precision, basically exacto knife kind of thing. Uh, I got at the dollar store. Um, midsole, denim, sale colorway on the outside, uh, midsole, um, partly has the gum on the out, uh, on the toe box here. And then the, uh, outsole is red, sale, and gum as well. One of my favorite parts. Um, so those are the shoes and I'll get into how I distress them. This is the jacket. Um, I also went ahead and did a DIY, um, on the jacket. Wanted to give a big shout out to uh, Levi's Eaton Center. Um, they actually, the, the tailors there, Tanya and Mateo, actually um, went ahead and applied these patches for me. Um, they actually had to unstitch the jacket from the bottom, peel open the nylon part um, that you can see here, and then press the, uh, the patches on just so they wouldn't ruin the nylon. Um, there's the inside of the jacket. And then this is the back part again. So you can see what I did with the bleach on the jacket, the patches on the jacket, on the shoes. Got the 306 Young patch, got the Wings patch, got the Toronto 306 Gatorade patch from the Gatorade campaign earlier uh, this year for holiday, and then the regular Jumpman patch as well. Um, the DIY process in terms of, sorry, I'm, the black and the white versions, pardon me, let me get into that. I have the black version, the black jacket. The white jacket was basically just like this one. It had the exact same woven satin uh, reversible side, so the exact same white and black, except you had white denim and then black woven satin on the outside. The black version, which I have right here, I don't know why I didn't pull it out. I haven't DIY'd yet. But here's the black woven one, or the black denim with the woven red satin inside. Black Jumpman, white flight, white on the back, red woven satin on the underarms. I made the choice not to get the shoes. Wasn't a fan of the black ones or the white ones just as much, especially the white. I'm gonna wanna keep them white for as long as possible. And I know that I would just, they would just get mashed up. So that was the reason why I didn't get the white. And the blacks just didn't really pop. Uh, the blue joints here, the blue babies here, they're the best ones. I'll show the left tag, uh, the left tongue tag, because the left tongue tag is pretty dope. Air Jordan 4, just like size 11, just like you would see on a Levi's pair of jeans. This is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, the DIY process, honestly, go to the dollar store, buy bleach, buy a paintbrush, or four or five. Um, what else did I buy? A precision knife. I spent about six bucks, and I spent about two, maybe three hours doing it all. And this is how they turned out. So what I did is I just took a small paintbrush, dipped it in bleach, and then just went to town. I didn't tape anything, I didn't do anything. I completely did it freehand DIY. As you can tell, the tabs in the back, there's some stains. Um, I did the jump man, I did the wings, and then I went to town with my precision knife along the piping. Now I've been talking about this, doing this for a minute, in terms of doing that piping job and i think i was looking at getting like a dremel i just did it manually and it worked out just as well now i do want to give a big shout out to mateo and tanya again from uh levi's at eaton center so you see here in the toe box um right here where this stitch where this patch goes into the the toe box here when i was doing my diy process i hit the the stitching i hit the some of the stitching here and it came out and I didn't even notice when I did it. So over time, uh, for the past probably five or six months, the wear on it's been wearing down. And eventually I noticed about a month ago that this was just basically like completely detached. So 
Levi's at uh, Eaton Center, and I'm not getting paid for this by all. This is not an ad. This is just a huge shout out for customer service and for a great service that they offer there. Um, they repaired it and they restitched it, and you can't even tell. You honestly can't even tell like that it was it was mashed up so and actually this patch here was coming apart too and they restitched it it's reinforced all down here now and you can't even tell so i just want to give a big shout out to them because that was super dope that's the explanation of you know the diy and, and then the actual jackets themselves i was able to purchase the shoes uh luckily um in my size and i put them straight to feet basically the next morning though is when the jack the next morning when the jacket dropped at uh at 10 a.m at yorkdale mall i got there at about 7 a.m um and you know shouts to those who uh, may watch this and, and helped out with uh placement in the line but i ended up being the last person in line when i showed up and shout out to yorkdale security too because they actually stayed there and watched the line the entire time and kept count of the people coming in and out trying to uh trying to finesse and trying to say that they weren't gonna or that they were in line before and they had a list and blah 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 and um, also ended up trading with somebody who was in the line there to resell um and i just asked him to grab my size because i knew i was either going to get like a double xl or, or a small um, and i ended up with a small and the blue um, came away trading for the large um, and then luckily um, on the uh the black and white uh, 306 Young had them, also first come first serve, so that was a blessing, uh, being able to scoop the black one. Um, I think the black one's a lot more versatile, and there's the red satin, just like, it goes with a it just, it doesn't go with a lot, but it stands out, um, and it's, it's just a super dope red, it's very, very vibrant red. The white and black versions had a lot more, um, pairs, um, and a lot more jackets in comparison to the blue. Uh, blue most limited, white would be the second most limited black being the uh, the fully most limited um, and then this collaboration not only is it like stand um, in history because of the original Levi's um, and Jordan 1 501 denim uh, collaboration that came out a long time ago early 2000s with the cement print on the inside of the jeans and oh man I would love to get my hands on a pair of those but quality wise as well just for 2018 we've seen bread toes released this year great quality that's what everybody's talking about um, and it talks about like quality and the highest standard of quality thus this year. Um, I'm gonna put Jeter 11 Lowe's in there too. I own a pair and I think it's the quality on those is amazing. I think people really slept on those. Apparently those are outlets now, you can pick those up. So check your local Nike outlet or whatever because that's a sleeper, grab those if you can. And then JTH Bio Beige, um, probably top quality of the year. Price point definitely says yes, 330 Canadian. Um, was pretty ridiculous, but the quality on those, the detailing, super super dope so that's really it this video is really really long and i apologize um let me know in the comments what you think what you liked about this video what i could do more of um i know this edit's going to take a very long time but please uh let me know what you think of my first video please hit like subscribe if you see uh the subscribe button up there please hit that i think it's below i don't see i don't even know i'm so new to this um and if you'd like to see more of my collection more reviews more stories things like that please let me know thank you again uh this is soul obligation peace